Howdy mates, here's a part 5 video over at Stump Pass Beach State Park. So as, as promised, I was going to make a video devoted to this uh, sea turtle nest. So one thing to note right away is it is from usually May 1st till the end of October that it is sea turtle nesting season. So that basically means it's usually around that time of the year when they will start to come over to a beach and start nesting. So there are up to seven separate species of sea turtles in the world, but you, usually there are only five that are found in, you know, like the United States region. But the most common sea turtle that you will find here in Florida, especially, is the loggerhead, also known as the Coretta Coretta. So, the loggerhead turtle is so named because of its very dense head and the fact that their jaws are strong enough to basically bite through clams, mollusks, and other shelled organisms. They have a jaw powerful enough to do that. So they have a very strong bite reflex. Amazingly, you know, loggerheads can actually live for up to 30 to 50 years, which is quite amazing, by the way. That's, that's a long time. Now, another fascinating aspect of sea turtles in general is they have existed for quite a few hundreds of millions of years, but they've even been around since before the dinosaurs. So they're like some, they're like one of the oldest known reptiles on this planet. But I saw when I entered here, so you can even see more lined up along the dunes. So, turns out, specifically at Stump Pass Beach State Park, there have been up to 61 recorded loggerhead sea turtle nests. And then, as a calculation for all of Minnesota Key, there have been over 1,300 and these recordings were from June 3rd. So this is very recent data. And most of this uh, sea turtle nest monitoring comes from the Coastal Wildlife Club, which is, by the way, an amazing group of people and volunteers who do this. It's a way for them to help promote conservation of the sea turtles because specifically the loggerhead they are currently listed as threatened federally in the United States and same goes for the state of Florida from the FWC but in terms of the IUC, IUCN red list they are considered to be endangered so that basically means Globally speaking, they are endangered. And there's a number of reasons for that. One being that loggerheads are oftentimes a result of bycatch. So for those of you not familiar with that term, bycatch is basically an accidental catch of something. So a lot of fisheries say in Florida, for example, they'll focus upon hunting for trawl or shrimp in these mesh nets. But oftentimes what happens is the loggerheads can accidentally swim into those nets and they wind up getting stuck in them. They can wind up suffocating and they just they can't get out of it. And so they get exhausted 
from trying to get out and that basically can lead to a slow death. Now, morbid as that sounds, there is a solution that has been used for quite some time. There's a particular product called a TED, also known as a turtle excluder device. And what they do is kind of think of it as sort of like a gate in the mesh net. So it's like a guide, basically. And what happens is, you know, the sea, sea turtle can find that, and it actually leads to a little tunnel to help get the sea turtle out of the mesh net so that they don't have to be a result of bycatch. So that is great news. So, back on the subject though, in terms of the loggerhead, oftentimes they are most commonly found on the Gulf side as well as the Atlantic, and they are the most common sea turtle found in the United States. Now, oftentimes when it comes to sea turtle nests, what happens is they will use a, it's kind of like a, like a film right there that just basically prevents a person from accidentally stepping on it. And then they use the stakes to basically designate that nest. Now, oftentimes during the period of sea turtle nesting, usually they will come back four times during the entire six months. And the most amazing thing about it is the mother knows exactly where to return to where they hatched. So they're basically, in a sense, just like fish when they spawn. They have that same pattern. They know exactly where they were born, and that's where they, where they will go to incubate eggs for their next generation. Now, usually it takes about two months for the hatchlings to, to get out of the eggs and then eventually make their way into the ocean. And usually each batch can have up to 100 to 120 eggs because unfortunately, a lot of them can't make it because of our seabirds out here that oftentimes feed on them. So it's like better to have more than none at all. But you have to figure, these hatchlings, they have to travel a decent ways to get to the water. So it's basically like a battlefield for them. You know, like, what may seem like just, you know, maybe about a hundred yards for them, that would be something like a mile. So, think about that for a second. Let that marinate. But, fortunately, since we are at a state park, there can't be any uh, inclusion of artificial light because when there is a form of artificial light, that will disorient the hatchlings. And oftentimes it will lead them away from getting to the water. So that's, that's a bonus. But yeah. Loggerhead sea turtles, they usually have like a reddish brown covering, so that's how you can identify them. And usually they can actually reach up to 200 pounds once they reach full maturity. So they can, they can grow quite large once they reach to that point in their life. But you know, our sea turtles are also crucial to our oceans just because they are benthic feeders. So they have the capability of feeding along a, a floor 
you know, whether it be algae or even other fishes, they feed on those. So they also help keep the food chain balanced. So it's really cool. So I'll be sure to uh, post a link regarding the uh, loggerhead sea turtle in case if any of you want to learn more about them as they are the most common sea turtle in the United States and for a lot of us who are traveling down here and even moving down here we might as well take an opportunity to learn more about them so all right you guys thanks for watching hope you enjoyed this video and journey on a journey is outwards. Take care, folks. See ya.